Time to play with some play. I'm going to make the armatures for the three horses. I might make one extra horse armature. I don't, I'm not going to show you how I make the armatures. I'm actually going to be videoing how I make my armatures uh, and uh, you know, a dog and a horse and a human. And I'm going to be putting it out on a uh, instructional DVD. Um, in the near future. I've had several people request it. Uh, true form armatures are wonderful armatures, but if you have a subject that doesn't quite match the size of the true form armature, you have to know how to make an armature from scratch. And it has to be an armature that will be proportional to start with, and that will help you uh, create your finished sculpture. So what I'm going to do is I'm putting together a uh, DVD, an instructional DVD, to go along with the other instructional DVDs that I have. And uh, if you want to see which what I have, uh, there's a link in the uh, video description below this YouTube video that takes you to a blog that I have where I show nine of my instructional DVDs. Now one of them is going to have to go away. Um, more than likely it'll be the one that sells the least. And uh, the instructional DVD on how to create a uh, armature from scratch is going to have to take its place because I can only uh, PayPal only allows me to put up nine uh, in, uh, items that I can sell uh, through PayPal. I have other instructional DVDs that I've retired. But anyway, I'm going to be making a, an instructional DVD on how to create a horse armature on this one. And that's going to be part of that uh, instructional set of DVDs. So I'll show you the armatures after I'm done making them. But I'm not going to show how I make them. And I apologize for that. I, I'd love to be, be able to just share stuff, but to keep doing what I'm doing, to pay for this place that I'm living in, to pay for the clay that I'm going to sculpt in, I have to have funding. And my form of funding is not from YouTube. I get nothing from YouTube. I, I need it uh, from the sale of uh, instructional DVDs and occasionally from sales of my bronzes. Right now, I'm, I've got one gallery that I show in, and I haven't got any bronzes in it because I can't afford to put them there. So, I have to rely on my Social Security and my instructional DVDs. It's a sad situation. But that's the way it is. Um, life is uh, tougher as you go along, and especially if you don't plan for your future and all you young people now should be planning for when you get older because uh, take it from me you really need to all right I'm going to get started on the armatures and then uh, we'll show you how I'm going to uh, set this uh, design up and I'll be right back and I'm sorry I blabbed so much but uh, it, uh, you have to know what's going on all right all right, this is going to be a, uh, an instructional DVD on how to create an armature for animals and humans and, and uh, a horse in this case and a dog. Not all design projects that you're going to do are going to be the size that the, they sell uh, in the pre-made armatures. So you have to know how to make an armature. And it has to be proportional and it has to be uh, to the size that you're uh, wanting for the, 
the project you're going to be doing. Um, this one is going to be a horse six inches from the tip of his nose to his tail and five inches from the top of his head to the bottom of his hoof. They don't sell pre-made armatures for this uh, size and so I have to make an armature. Now I have wire that I've twisted into a stronger uh, form. This is baling wire. You can get baling wire from uh, your local hardware store. It's steel wire and uh, it comes in this uh, thickness which isn't very thick but it's strong which is good for small objects that you're going to create, uh, and whether it's an animal or or a human. And uh, it, for this size it almost can hold itself up, uh, but uh, I'll show you that you, you may need a uh, support for your armature so that when you're working on your clay it's not bending on you and going back and forth. Um, I'm going to prepare my wire, and this wire will make your hands black. Uh, there's a coating on the uh, wire, and uh, I think it's probably to keep it from rusting. Now I'm going to be making four horse armatures and I want to start out with four pieces of wire the same length. Now I'm just guessing at the length uh, and I'll show you what I'm thinking. So I've got four pieces of wire. You'll need a pair of needle nose pliers and uh, whatever you do as far as armatures go because uh, you need something you can bend and uh, get uh, tight little bends for arms and legs and heads and everything else and you need a pair of needle nose pliers that have a wire cutter uh, built into it which will save you having to look for another tool now depending on the thickness of the wire, I've got copper wire that uh, I got from an artist friend. I don't know where you can buy copper wire, probably from the hardware store, but I'm not certain on that. An electrical uh, supply company might have it. Um, I sometimes use copper tubing, um, eighth inch up to a quarter inch. But you cut this wire, you can't cut it with a needle nose. You're going to need a stronger uh, pair of uh, cutters for these, that thickness of wire. I think you'll find that uh, the more you get into sculpting, the more tools you'll start collecting for bending wire and cutting wire. Uh, these are a good pair of little wire cutters. This wire cutter is levered in such a way that uh, it gives you a lot of pressure on the cutting area for real thick wire and I can cut uh, copper wire like I showed you or thicker copper wire with these very easily good pair of uh, cutters to get if you can find them I think I got this from a snap tools truck can't remember it's been a long time uh, a couple of pair of uh, uh, I don't know what they call these, a uh, monkey wrench? <laughs> I don't know. Anyway, uh, adjustable wrench. Uh, I have a couple of these. This one I really like. Uh, you have to press the button to change the, uh, the grip area. And it's a lot easier than trying to wrangle it uh, that way. Anyway, these are just a few of the tools that I have and you will collect them. 
as time goes by. Electrician's tape is uh, very important uh, for making armatures because uh, I don't solder the wire together and uh, the electrician tape works very well in uh, uh, holding your armature together and to put it on to a uh, support. Uh, electrician tape is very important to, for basically uh, attaching it to an armature. All right, I'll show you why. I'm going to in a few start. There you go. All right, we got eight leg armatures started. Now I'll pull this out of the way. Oh, I'm going to take a break and let my hands uh, get better. <laughs> I just took a break from working on the armatures of the horse, actually horses. I think the video that I'm producing is going to be a very good uh, instructional DVD. It'll be just like you were sitting in my studio and I was putting on a workshop for you. And that's what all my videos are, I mean it's basically the same thing. If you're interested in sculpting, I kind of share about, uh, well, over 50 years of uh, shortcuts and techniques that I've developed over the years. I mean, this horse, these horse armatures I'm making now are small, but I've, I've probably made well over 100, maybe 200 horse armatures in my time. And uh, you learn how to do it and how to do it efficiently. I love thunder. That was a good one. Anyway, uh, you learn how to do it efficiently and quickly. It still takes time, but a lot less time than it used to take me when I first started making armatures. Ah, the rain's coming now. So, when I'm done uh, getting this, uh, please check out this video that I'm putting together and uh, when it's done and uh, I offer it also check out the other ones I've got they really can help give you little techniques and shortcuts and uh, hopefully in 50 years you'll be sculpting as good as me <laughs> Or if not better. There's a lot of people younger than me that sculpt so much better than I do. Alright, well I'm going to get back in and start working on that, those armatures. Alright, I've just uh, finished making three armatures of horses to match the size of this horse here. And so now I'm going to arrange the horses um, to match, or at least somewhat match, the uh, positioning of the three horses I picked on this uh, piece here uh, to reflect the movement I want. This is uh, one of the armatures, and you can see it here. Um, I go through great detail on how to put these together in the uh, DVD that I'm putting together and uh, I, uh, so, I'm sorry I can't show you how to do that but uh, anyway this is uh, the three horses and they're all done to the same scale. Sorry it's not much of a video but uh, I think it's going to be okay. Good night everybody. Give me a thumbs up and share my video. And then check out my 
instructional DVDs, uh, the link down below this video. All right, see you next time.